It's me, Patty the Party Planner. And I'm Alicia. And we are having so much fun setting up this awesome treasure hunt party. While we're at it, we've been talking about one of the treasures most worth searching for, wisdom. In fact, that's our big idea this month. Wisdom, finding out what you should do and doing it. Speaking of what we should do, what's next on our checklist, Alicia? Setting up the X marks the spot cupcake display. Also, you have one new email. Oh, really? Is it from a satisfied customer? Those are my favorite. Unfortunately, it looks like the opposite. What do you mean? Remember the puppy party you prepared? Oh yes, the party. Get it? Like, like a paw? What was wrong with it? Everything looks perfect when we dropped it off. Apparently, we put the wrong name on the cake. That's not possible. I, I followed the order exactly. It said, happy birthday, Blue. The dog's name isn't Blue. It's Herbert. They wanted the cake to say happy birthday in blue icing. How would you like me to reply? Blue icing? That was not anywhere on the order. It said, happy birthday, Blue. I mean... How was I supposed to know? Blue is an adorable name. And who names their dog Herbert? Reply sent. Wait, wait, what? I sent your reply. Are you ready to set up the cupcake table now? You, you, you sent them what I just said uh, about the cake and the dog and Herbert and oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I sent them exactly what you said. Yep. And what I said was really, really unwise. Woo! I was really frustrated and I just sort of uh, said the first thing that came to my mind. Oh dear, oh dear. The truth is I really care about them and I wanted their party to be awesome. It's a bummer that we miscommunicated about the cake and oh, what a mess. <laughs> I feel awful. I think I just need to go take a minute. Alicia, can you take over for now? Of course. Today, we'll hear a true story from the Bible. But first on our agenda is worshiping God. He is where all wisdom comes from, and he loves us no matter what. As Patty would say, Alicia, cue the music. Cueing music now. Turn to you. You are my help when I need wisdom. You always see me through to know that you're chasing after me. It makes me want to run to where you are. God, you make this journey worth it. I give you all my heart. When I don't know. When I don't know what to do, you help me figure it out. 
66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, Chapter 22, verse 3. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22, 3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place. But childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop. To take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game and playing and playing instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step, act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Wisdom stops, thinks, and then acts. If you ask me, Solomon's words could not have been more perfect for today. Don't you agree, Patty? Uh, yes. (laughs) I really, really wish that I had been acting with wisdom earlier. I would have seen that my anger was putting me in danger of saying hurtful words. I could have gone to a safer place, chosen to take some deep breaths, calmed down, and figured out how to fix the problem. Then I wouldn't be in this mess. That's true. I guess there is no way to fix the problem now. You know, I'm not so sure about that, Alicia. But I can't unsend the email. Oh, I know that. But back in the first week of our series, we talked about how sometimes we make choices that we regret and boy, do I regret this one. (laughs) But God is still with us and he loves us. I can't take that email back, but I can call them and say that I'm sorry and offer to try to make it right. 
Alicia, will you add apology cupcakes to our to-do list and make a note to use blue icing? Absolutely. That does sound like a wise solution. Speaking of wisdom, can I ask you a question about what Solomon wrote? Oh, of course. The scripture we read talked about how childish people keep going and making foolish choices. What's wrong with being a child? Great question. And the answer is nothing. Being a child is awesome, but being childish means acting like you did when you were younger. When we were babies, being a baby was fine. But now that I'm a grown up, acting like a baby would be pretty silly, wouldn't it? As we grow up, hopefully we grow in wisdom too. So being a child is a good thing, but being childish means being foolish. Human language never ceases to fascinate me. Sometimes I don't know how you manage to communicate anything clearly. Oh, it can be confusing at times. For instance, when you think the color of icing is the name of a dog. <laughs> the danger Solomon wrote about can come in lots of different forms. When we stop and think, we might realize that the wise thing to do is to get out of a bad situation or to ask someone for help, to calm down before we speak, to get more information before we rush into a decision, or to spend time in prayer. God can give you the wisdom you need to think before you act. That's the main thing to remember today. And even when we don't choose wisdom, God is still with us and he's able to help us just like he's going to help me make that phone call and ask for forgiveness. I know he'll be with me as we go and make some really yummy cupcakes for a very sweet doggy named Herbert. <laughs> now, before we go, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for giving us the ability to reason, to see danger, and to go to a safe place. Thank you that even when we don't choose wisely, you're still with us and you can help us. Please give us the wisdom we need today to stop, think, and follow you. Amen. Amen. Well, we have got some baking to do. I'll see you next time, potty animals. Bye.